Joining us now, Dr. Paul Offit is a member of the FDA Vaccine Advisory Committee and the director of the Children's Vaccination Center at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Dr. Offit, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. So let's start with this decision by the CDC to cut isolation periods for people who are infected with COVID or exposed to COVID, but asymptomatic. It was, as you heard Dr. Fauci say, driven in part by an attempt to cut down those staffing shortages. But does it go enough, far enough to protect public health? I think so. I mean, as long as you follow the directives. So usually when you're infected with uh, this kind of virus, the virus reproduces itself in your nose, your, your throat, your upper respiratory tract. And when that happens, it, it reproduces itself hundreds of times, thousands of times. And then you're, that's when you're most contagious, right at the beginning before you even develop symptoms. Then your immune system kicks in, and that's when you have symptoms. As you have more and more symptoms, you actually shed less and less virus. So if you're asymptomatic, meaning no symptoms, you probably are shedding a trivial amount of virus, if at all, at that point. And they're, they're sort of the belt and suspenders approach there is that if you're truly asymptomatic, then just wear a mask for five more days. So I, I think that's that's fair. Also, it's hard to get testing. So I think some people are uncomfortable with, with sort of not testing before you, you go out mask. But I think I think that's OK. But the trick is actually it's the honor system. Once again, right. you have to trust that people are truly asymptomatic. And Dr. Offit, amid this rise in cases nationwide, we're seeing a particularly worrying trend, and that goes to your expertise, which is among children in the hospitalizations, particularly here in New York, where the number of kids hospitalized in the last two weeks nearly quadrupled. So how worrying is that trend, and what is the warning to parents? Well, first of all, it's winter. And this is a winter virus, and this Omicron is particularly contagious. So, so I think you were going to see an increase anyway. Um, but uh, here's what I would say. At our hospital, um, we test anybody who's admitted to the hospital for whatever reason to see whether or not that they have COVID. And we're definitely seeing an increase in cases. However, we're really not seeing an increase in, in people who are children who are hospitalized for COVID or in the intensive care unit for COVID. So, again, there's this dissociation between cases and serious cases, which is all because this is a highly contagious virus. And even if you're vaccinated, you still have a fairly high chance of exposed of developing mild symptoms. You're still protected against serious disease, so please get vaccinated. But you're just going to be seeing a lot of cases and a lot of asymptomatic and mild cases in the United States right. over and the next uh, and to yeah. follow up on that point, Dr. Offit, millions of children will be returning to the classroom next week in the new year. Is it safe to be back in the classroom? Well, you want to do everything you can to get children back. I mean, on-site learning is so much better than, than distance learning and the socialization, et cetera, that comes with being in school. So I think, you know, if, if, if it's safe, if you can make sure that children who are unvaccinated, First of all, make sure everybody over five is vaccinated because they can be vaccinated. And, and you know, the people wear masks um, if there are people in the, in the class who are unvaccinated. So, sure. But we need to do that. We need to care about our children enough to vaccinate them, care about them enough to mask them if, uh, you know, if, if, if it requires that. Yes. Dr. Offit, finally, New Year is just a matter of days away right now. How should folks revisit their plans for the new year, given the infectiousness of this this variant? Well, be careful. I mean, I'm about to go visit my mother, who's 93 years old. I think we're all going to get tested just to make sure that we're not going to be exposing her to anything. But it's hard to get tests. So, so you know, just be careful. Obviously, if you're symptomatic, um, you could be symptomatic with any of the other respiratory viruses that are out there this year. But just assume it's COVID and, uh, and, and quarantine. All right, Dr. Offit, as always, we appreciate this great information. Always good to be with you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.